up the left of his people. But before we start, we're going to give all praises. Yahweh, 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 I will give thee into the hand of them that uh, Selachia, verse 21, Selachia, it says, I spake unto thee in prosperity, but thou saidest, I will not hear. And that's the, uh, the state of our people even to this day. You know, when we come out and give this word to our people, they turn their back, they pull the shoulder, as the scripture says, and they refuse to listen. This is why for all, we always hear that term, rebellious, stiff-necked, hard-headed, and it's just repetitive throughout the scriptures, man. He says, I spake unto thee in prosperity, but thou saidest, I will not hear, because when we was doing good, you know, the most I was blessing us when we was, you know, under King David, King Solomon, certain other um, kings or leaders that were trying to follow righteousness, but even still, it's like, when these ones died off, our people like we've got some kind of short short memory and we always seem to revert back to the state that we're in to a down to the state to a disobedient state and this is why we're in the condition that we're in today it says this has been thy manner from thy youth that thou obeyest not my voice it says the wind shall eat up all thy pastors and thy lovers shall go into captivity because when we disobey, what does the Most High do? After a while, he turns his back on us. So you read the scriptures where it says, you know, they cried unto the Most High, he delivered them. Then they went back to their old ways, they went into captivity, they cried unto the Most High. And it's just a repetitive case, man. In today, we're in captivity, but now it's a case of, it's just an elect, just going to be crying unto the Most High. Because even the best, right, even the best, <laughs> The best of the best was not even good enough for Jay. They want more. They always want more. This is why they, even leaving Egypt, right, they continue to murmur. And every captivity that we've been delivered from, hey, we continue to murmur and go about our own way seeking uh, uh, seeking the desires and the lust of our heart, right? And, and what has that led us to? It says, you read it again, it says, The wind shall eat up thy pastors, thy lovers shall go into captivity. It says, like thy lovers shall go into captivity. Look at us, man. Back in, in, in this downtrodden state again. And to be honest, I'm fed up at this place now. Like, I've had enough. Back to work tomorrow. I don't want to go to work. Wow. Yeah. You know? But bills have to be paid. You know, the scripture says if a man don't work, he don't eat. And that's just the, the case that we're in. We have to. Yeah. And we're living from hand to mouth. It's like, as you pay the bills, then you've got enough to, to, to last you. Till you get paid again. Yeah, and that's the setup. That's the setup of the, this kingdom. So we can't. It's like you can't stop. You know, we say no rest, no rest for the wicked, right? And, and you know the thing about it as well. That like even when you try, I speak myself. Even when I try to save up a little money, and it starts to build, some shit happens. If it's not the car, it's something else. And it eats up, it eats up the little money that you try to save. Yeah, yeah. One problem after, after another. another. You think, all right, I've dealt with that. Yeah. Next next problem comes, man. This is not, hey, we have no rest on our feet. No, this no, ain't no, a place no. where we can have peace, man. And, it, and the thing about it, it's, it's not even meant to be a place where we, no. that's the thing about it. Yeah, yeah. It's not even meant, yeah, it's it's meant to be a place where we have peace. Peace is in the kingdom, but still, the most of gives us some peace here and there, but then at the, at the same time, it's like, and you get a little bit of peace, some kind of foolishness comes up, man. Yeah. This place is tiring. Yeah. Shalom to the brother, uh, the brothers. Shalom to the uh, uh, Akiam at John 144K. Shalom to Yahawada 144. Shalom to the sister Rebecca. And Shalom. Yeah, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, this, this, this place is jarring, man. It's getting on my nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, uh, the wind shall eat up thy pastors, thy lovers shall go into captivity. It says, the wind shall eat up thy pastors, thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then, Thou shalt be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. And you look at two thirds, like, I don't even know who the two 
words is, but you can look at many of our people and see that they're not ashamed, man, because they, they, they seem to enjoy this place. Give them a nice car, you know, yeah, a little yeah. bit of changes, you know, they can do up the house nicely. They're quite comfortable. They feel they're doing good. Yeah. One holiday. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Once a year, <laughs> get to put your feet up for a week, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, if you're lucky, right? Yeah. Because a lot of Jake ain't even got that uh, 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 privilege, if you want to call it that. Right? And the thing is, a lot of them is prospering in wickedness. Not believing that it's the most side that's actually blessing them, not realizing that the devil blesses too, man. We keep saying that. Yeah, you have to think some of the blessings that you get, where are you get them from, check your lifestyle. If it's not according to the scriptures, nine out of ten times, it's the devil that's blessing you, man. Not saying that the most side won't bless you at times, but. It's the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 21 it says but to Israel he saith all day long have I stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people throughout the scriptures man it's the same thing over and over and over and yeah, it says all day long have I stretched out my hand and the heavenly father could uh, uh, put us to death as soon as we uh, committed our uh, uh, sin right Yahweh Shai down to you know to be that um what's the word? Uh, 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 yeah uh, appeasement for us but hey even then right we still want to go off and, and, and commit abominations and commit all types of wickedness man it says all day long as he stretched out his hand so that means our power yeah is a merciful power you know he could have just done your life just like that but he's merciful and long suffering right so how much more Knowing that the Heavenly Father is that merciful, do we turn back to him and say, hey, look, hey, our Father has given us so much mercy. Let's turn back and prove to our, our Heavenly Father that we are obedient children unto him. He could have put me to death this day. He could have put her to death that day. But he hasn't because of the mercy that he shows uh, towards us, right? Knowing that, we have to uh, 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 put back in, man. You don't just... You know, it's all uh, take, 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 take with Jake. They take until until you get a. Uh, it's like Jake only want to uh, then turn to the Most High when when they're real. Like you have to be on a hospital hospital bed. At death's door. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's the perfect way to put it. You're at death's door is when you turn to the Most High. But even after that, you heal. Yeah, right. Yeah. The Heavenly Father heals you. Yeah. And then guess what you go and do? Sure, Go straight. Yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Go yeah. straight back to it. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah Jake. Hey, shall I want to the bar and the This is um, Malachi 3 and verse 13. It says, Your words have been stout against me, said Yahweh. Yet you say, What have you spoken so much against me? And you don't even realize that, we, or I should say, we don't even acknowledge that we're speaking stout against the most high. You know, when, when you see brothers out in the highways, or you watch a certain lesson and tell you to repent and you just ignore it, oh this ain't for me. Now I remember I was with, with the sister one time and when I put a lesson on, it's like it's God. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Well, that's well, the, yeah, that's it's the, like that's the, that's the spirit. Yeah. Right? You know, they, they won't take it in. So it's not that our people ain't had the opportunity or ain't heard the word. We just choose to ignore it. It says that in 2nd Corinthians 9, right? It says which they had a liberty, a place of repentance was open unto them. Because them. it's not always going to be open unto you, you know. That's what I'm thinking. People think they're going to just, that last minute, like I said, that shit hits the fan and then you're going to try and run to the most high. La ah, that ain't going to work like that. Malachi 3.14, it says, You have said it is vain to serve the most high. Because some of our people are, are quote unquote, doing well in this kingdom, they don't see any reason. Like they put it all down to their own strength. And they've got this attitude, even some people that claim to be the most high, they've got this attitude where God is good all the time, all the time God is good. You know, and always think positive and it will manifest. Well, that is true to some extent, but you have to realise that there's negative to come, man. When you see positive reading, when you see the negatives come, let you know that we're that bit closer. But it says, um, you have said it is vain to serve the most side. And what profit is it that we have kept these ordinances? Um, someone could get um, Jeremiah 15. Yep. Jeremiah chapter 15. 
Uh, 17. Uh, uh, I got slackers. Jeremiah 45. 45. Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 15 Then all the men which knew that their wives had burnt incense And this is one of the problems The men's meant to be the lead but in this kingdom they switched it for the women to be the lead What do they say? A happy wife makes a happy home happy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know uh, what I'm saying? Happy wife, happy life but, yeah. You know the men's meant to be stepped up to the plate, they're falling back, the woman stepped up and that's that's out of order. You know what I'm saying? Especially when there's a man in house. It's different if the sister's on her own and she has to do things on her own. But this kingdom itself has flipped the script so that actually get out as I see. Chapter 15. There's flipped the script, man. So everything, the way it says the earth is out of course, everything is out of course. The rulership of this earth is out of course. It says the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Now, the earth was created for the wicked. It was created for our sake, and then we ended up being wicked. And wow. from then it's been wicked after wicked after wicked, right? Yeah. So Jeremiah 31 and 22 says, How long will thou go about? Hold our backsliding daughter. Yeah, like backsliding. It's like we take two steps forward, six steps backward. So we're never catching up. You know? We're going backwards slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always think of it like we're going into the hedge. We're going in about here. It's like the hedge starts to grow again. A yeah. little bit of water, you start to plant it, you know, the most high stuff. That hedge comes and you slide backwards, starts withering again. Right, Gets up right. to knee height, starts withering again. We need that that hedge to be covering us, which ultimately is that whole armor. You know, you get to the breastplate and then the helmet's loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, that's Jake for you, man. You know, start to run. And you know, you know the bit round the way, the drop starts dropping off, yeah? Because yeah, yeah. why, why is that? Because you didn't, you didn't tighten it up properly, man. You didn't stay close enough to the most high. You got close, and then you decided to move back, and now you, now you start moving loose again, man. Oh uh, yeah, your witches are. Y'all about to know something about the to the front of your witches are. Come on, come on. Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long would I go about all that backsliding daughter? For how on your how have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And that's what we're seeing now. You know, women are compassing the men. Right? Because this kingdom deals with turning everything upside down. Left is right, up is down. Now in is out, and that's why things are so bad as it is, man. Because nothing's in this rightful order. It's funny, it's funny as well, because you know the song back in the day is like, uh, "This is a man's world." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now yeah, look yeah. at the it's recent song. World. No, now, now the new song is "Who Runs the World?" Yeah, Girls, yeah, girl. yeah, 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 yeah. That hey, that shows how how this place has changed around, man. It's true because. Even if it's men up there, they got that feminine spirit on them anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not, no real men out here for, for the women. Because there are genuine women that fear the Heavenly Father that actually are looking for a real man or need that real man. Because that's that's the perfect balance. To have an upright man and an upright woman. The upright man showing the woman how to be upright through the scriptures, of course. But now, it's completely flipped. Now the woman's bullying the man, you know? And, and ultimately, it's, it's the wicked women, right? That just take advantage of these men because why? Because they know they can. Because the men are not being upright. So it always goes back to the man not being upright. But even when still, when you get the wicked woman and doing their thing, man does still have to tread carefully because it's set to yeah, be in the woman's favor. Oh, so even if you, yeah. you, yeah, you know, like sometimes you end up biting your tongue, knowing that if you did react a certain way, it's yeah, going to end up for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One phone call from the woman to uh, to uh, Esau, yeah, 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 to, to Marcel, hey, hey, you're, you're doing some time. 
do this stuff. And, and they could even, and most of the time, they might not even be telling the truth. Right. You know? That's the power that uh, 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 Esau, it, it's just, it goes back to Esau just flipping everything upside down. Mm. Just destroying right. everything. The book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12 says, As for my people, children are their oppressors. Which we're seeing now. You've got the young youths, they're running wild. No, I'm uh, yeah, right. They're just yeah. running wild, killing this one, bullying that one. The elders then, like when I was younger, an elder could talk to you and correct you. And he didn't want that getting back home. Now they're even frightened to talk to the little ones. You know what I'm saying? brother done a, a beautiful lesson, right? Where, remember the kids? Kids yeah, 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 yeah. Kids yeah, were holding yeah, yeah. the guns. And then, oh, I dropped my weed. So by the time, and what, how old are they? Under, under ten, like ten? I would say seven. Seven? seven? Yeah. By the time they reach their teens, right? Yeah. If the, if the Heavenly Father wills it, by the time they would have reached, uh, reached their teens, hey, that, hey, that mum, that mum's going to be scared. Yeah, the yeah. house is already broken, right? You yeah. can tell it's a broken home. Yeah. You know, no rent is missing out. By the time they reach a certain age, yeah. mommy ain't going to tell them nothing because she's scared. God. And that's that not burning because there's a saying, it's easier to bend a tree when it's young. Yeah. This this kingdom even prevents you from trying to bend the tree. Yeah. You try to bend the tree yeah. and then you end up in trouble. Oh. And you can't always talk to some children. Some children you can talk and rep upon them. Some of them you need to give them, as, you know, access. <laughs> Everybody spoiled the child. Yeah, they're whooping, they're whooping. That's right. They're whooping. Yeah, this one says if you beat him, you will not kill him. You know? Oh. Like you hate your child if you don't correct them, man. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. I guess what? This place, you, you try to lay your hand on, on, on your child, man. Mm. You're doing some time, man. Yep. Yeah. This place is finished. Or they take them from you. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's the next right. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 3 and 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. It says women rule over them, man. It says, oh my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to earth <laughs> and destroy <laughs> the way of thy path. That's right, so read that again. Huh? Of Jeremiah chapter 43, 44 and 15. Then all the men is knew that their wives had burnt incense of the other gods and all the women that stood that, by. The, the man that ain't stepping up to the plate. Yeah, they know that their wives are burning incense to other gods. What should they be doing? Correcting them, man. But it says, as for my people, children are the oppressors, the women will love them. God. And all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, in Patros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken. So that's like where we come out here and correct our people, man. This is what we're hearing, go on. As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of Yahweh, we See, will and, not and, hearken and, unto thee. This is the thing about it. They know that we're not speaking our whole words. Say, the word that you spoke in the name of Yahweh, you know the Bible doesn't even try to speak. Yeah, we will not hearken unto it. Verse 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing going forth out of our own mouth. And isn't that what we see today? Yeah. Sweet, yeah. sweet to them, innit? Because yeah. guess what? 
church and that makes me sick because I see people putting up statuses of them in church and they say, oh, you know, like they're you know, proud to be in church. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the best place. But then you leave church, right? And then you just go and do wickedness. How is that showing love towards the most high? You, you're proud. Oh, that's a proud spirit to go in church just because you sat down in a hall for an hour uh -huh. while, while they're singing some music, right? And there's a big cross in the, in, in, on the screen. Don't mean you're righteous. You got to apply. You got to apply what's written in these scriptures. They don't even know what it means to be righteous. Really, yeah, because know. they choose not to. Because yeah, they, they use the words. Like uh -huh. in Christianity, they say the right things. Like, yeah, you have to refrain from. Look how many times Christians come up and we we ask yeah. them, oh, what is sin? Yeah. They give some long drawn out thing. What is righteousness? Yeah. They give some long drawn out thing. They don't actually go to the the root. Like. To yeah. the, these are people that have been growing in church oh, yeah. since infants. Oh, they've been in the church since, oh, yeah. since yeah. an infant and they can't answer what sin is. Mm. Yeah. Which is the main thing that we're meant to stay away from That's and you right. can't even That's answer right. what that is. Right. Yeah. That that shows you that these church houses are, 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 are destroying our people. Right. They're giving them a false sense of security. Yeah. Right? Where they think, hey, if I turn up here every Sunday, Lord's going to bless me. Hey, hey. It says one jot or one tilt or the law so no, no yes, wise past, right? Yeah, yeah. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. So we're meant to be Yeah, so oh. to all be fulfilled. We're still here in hell, which uh, 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 I you still got more on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I had a precept from the brother which yeah. goes in. Yeah. yeah, there's more now. Yeah, go on, bring that. Look at Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing going forth out of our own mouth mm. to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we you have done. The Christian church is like a mirage. You know, you're, you're in the desert. You see you see them cartoons, they're in the desert. Thirsty, then they think they see some lake, yeah, so yeah, they yeah, rush into run, run it. it. Yeah, and then they're dying, they're splashing in, in the water, that time is sand, they're splashing in. That's the Christian church, they're, yeah, 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 yeah. they're on the yeah. way to the kingdom. You know, they're telling yeah. you, yeah, we're saved, we're man. Saved. But you see the water, yeah. right? We're funny. drinking. Yeah. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like I was saying, their whole life they've been walking That's right. towards that mirage. And then yeah. when they reach that, hey, because what they say, what day is it for you? Darkness right. or not That's light? Right. As they get close to that light and that water, and that turns to fire and darkness. That's right. You know? That's when they're going to realize, bro, mm. this is sand, man. Like yeah, that yeah, pedaling yeah, in sand, yeah. thinking, you know, you see, in the car, you there, blowing water. Yeah, yeah. And Dangerous. it's just sand. Dangerous. Yeah, it's nothing. Because Jeremiah chapter 44, uh, 17, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing going forth out of our own mouth mm. to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. As we have done, we and our fathers, our kings, <laughs> our princes, <laughs> the city of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. Yes, but when the worst, and not just them, our fathers, our princes. You teaching the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Bible. Show me the Bible. Yeah, but are they teaching the truth though? Everyone teaches that. Yeah, but how do you know if they're telling the truth? Who are the Jews today? Yeah, who are they today though? No, they don't go with a Jewish time. Yeah, but who are they today? See, so... so the, me and you. So, okay, well, you see us brothers here? You see the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, the Seminole Indians? Yeah. We are the original descendants of the people in the book. Did you know where are you from? Yeah, where your dad? Where are you from? Oh, where were you born? Where you never know. Where you never know. Right. The word of today is to repent of your sins. That you believe in repenting of sins? You don't know? What do you know? Well, 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 yeah, honestly, it's good. Well, yeah, well, if God is like, you need to start fearing the most because it's going to bring judgment upon this earth uh -huh. and keep his commandments. I just mentioned to you who they are. Who are this? Who are you? So called Negroes, Hispanics, Seminole, and Native American Indians. Yeah. Yes, we are. 
you look at that pool up there right now. Yeah. I'm not here for anyone. Well, if you want to dispute, but no, 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 the, the no, message no, is, no, yeah, but the message is that there's judgment coming. The most are looking to destroy this place. And there's a remnant of these people that has to be woken up. That's what we're trying to do, wake up the remnant so that we can get out of this place, man. Yeah? Whoa, it says, go into the highways. Yeah, yeah. It says, bid them to the marriage. So that's what we're trying to do. Bid our people to the marriage. If they were here... Yes, the remnant will be the bride. The remnant. I could tell you, man, the, the number don't really matter to me. I just know that it's going to be one third. Yeah, when it says one third in it, so how much that one third is, I yeah. can't tell you. Yeah? But it's sufficient to get us into the kingdom. Yeah? So if you are an Israelite, favor the most high and keep his commandments. Like, you know that as a man, you should have a beard. Do you believe in the Bible? Okay, well, if you do, just know that Christianity doesn't teach in the Bible properly. Yeah? So. Yeah. But yeah. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, alright? Alright. Shalom to the uh the elder. Alright. Shalom to the elder or Sagala. Shalom to the Lord. Okay, we are bashing our shine. I just wanted to finish this because yeah, it comes to a yeah. To burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, mm. as we have done, mm. we and our fathers, our kings, and our princes in the cities of Judah. That's why when the scripture says uh, the head is sick, you know, like, it's just down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it says the princes, our kings, our leaders. It's like, come on, man, what chance have the, the, the abbey, those at the bottom got if the head is sick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our kings, our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, for then had we plenty of victuals and were well and, that's and us saw no down, evil. That's us running to Egypt for help. Like I said, you know, our people tend to get some kind of prosperity in this kingdom and think that they're doing well, not realizing that you actually gave it backwards, man, because that's going to bring you where? It's going to get your judgment at the end of the day. It's not going to lead you to the kingdom. It even takes your mind away from the kingdom because right now you're doing all right. What do you yeah. actually need? Ah. From a dog of bone, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. idolatry, isn't it? Yeah. And they think that they got a benefit from doing those things. Yeah, we're in good taste. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me grab these comments off the board real uh, Let me grab these comments off the board real quickly. This is from the brother John 144K. This is, this is Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Adawan our power. So I'm going to start from the top and get into it. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? What? Yeah. We're captives? Yeah, even today, yeah. Even, yeah. you sure? Uh, was <laughs> it, uh, uh, what does Deontay Wilder say? To this day, oh, yeah. to this day, yeah, we are yet this day in our captivity. Yeah, nothing ain't changed. And why has nothing changed? Because we haven't changed. The majority of our people have not changed. They continue to commit these uh, iniquities. They continue to stay in the midst of sin. They continue not to hearken unto the Heavenly Father. And for that, we stay in the midst of these curses. We stay. Uh, under the foot of our oppressor because we Yeah, exactly. We are yet this day in our captivity because of our disobedience. It says we are subject to payments. Yeah, now we have to go for the want of all things to our oppressor because of our disobedience. Our people love to turn and point the finger at him, him and her. Right, right? when you're not examining yourself thinking, hey, what am I doing wrong? You know, that's what we had to do. We had to get rid of any pride that was in our... Hey, we all have levels of pride, like we always say. Mm -hmm. You know, but hey, we had to get rid uh, and come back as newborn babes. Humble understand? Down. Yeah, humble down. Come back in a meek spirit, understanding we don't really know nothing. We don't really know nothing. Now we have received these holy scriptures, right? Now we need to try 
and release these and get these curses lifted off us. That is the only way. It says in Deuteronomy 28 and 1 on down to verse uh, 13 or 14. It says, if we do hearken, then we're going to be blessed. And it goes and, and lists all the blessings we're going to have. And all those blessings is what we need. But you know what? The most I put uh, every single one of those blessings into curses. Yeah? If you read through them, they're, they're flipped. In the curses, and there's more curses on top of it. Yeah, because it says any plague or, or curse is not written in the book. They also we gonna receive. We gonna receive all of it. Hey, there's no escaping uh, uh, the hands of the heavenly Father, man. So it's better to be on the right hand side uh, than the left hand side. It said, uh, what do I say? Get right or get left, right? So it says, according to all the iniquities of, of our fathers, which departed from the other one, our power. Uh, uh, this is Second Corinthians from the Elder. Sagalah, this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3 to verse 5. It says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And that's what it boils down to at the end of the day. Because the remnant will hear and hearken. You know what I'm saying? This is to come up after what they've been hearing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so there is a remnant that's waking up. We may not see that much when we're on the street, but then. Kind of do yeah. because more and more we're seeing, yeah. even though they're not coming up, yeah. Yeah. but they know because they're, they're bibbing the horns, they're tooting yeah, the horns. Right, yeah, right, yeah. We're seeing yeah, it more and right, more, right, yeah. you know. So, well, hey, well, yeah. a lot of women as well now. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of women hey, yeah. on that camp yeah. on Saturday. We yeah. had four, four women or three, yeah. four women. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? It was just something pulled that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, yeah. And it's all of it is the spirit. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and what does it, what's it say in Matthew? The word is going to be preached. Across the four corners, then the end shall come. So we are, we're, we're in the midst of the end, man. Wow. We just gotta stay steadfast in what we're meant to do, continuing in the things that we have learned. Okay, so it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's the long and short of it. That's why brothers should really get too upset when, when, when you, when you get scoffers, uh, unbelievers, because it, it's good to let you know all of these things, man. Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, if, it's, if it's hidden, it's to them that are lost. We should be happy and free and free that the most eyes opened our eyes. Right? Yeah, and those that's meant to hear will hear. That's the number four. Ah, yeah. It says, it says uh, it's hidden to them that are lost, who, who the most eye of this world have blinded the yeah. minds of them which yeah. believe not. So the God of this world is who? Satan. Ultimately, Esau is his right hand man. Because, uh, quickly grab our um, bottom. Yeah. Uh, quickly grab from the um, second Thessalonians tree and, 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 and 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Believe in the Bible? The Bible, yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. What do you believe in about the Bible? I'm a Christian. Okay, what do they teach you about repentance? Fellowship of sin. And what is sin? Yeah, the Bible's a bit more specific as to what sin is. But you see, the problem is this with the church. You know that Christianity don't teach the Bible. They teach a doctrine based upon things in the Bible. We do know that. Anyway. Like for instance, there's many Christians we've spoken to and the Bible say, repent and be converted that your sins may be brought enough. You know, I say to someone, go across the road and pick up something, but I don't tell them what road they must cross. That's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, so if you're saying repent from sins and you can't really tell me what the Bible actually says. But we know what the sins are. Sins are acts against God. Acts against God. And God tried to speak about He says what he loves. He says what he loves. No, 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 that's good. We're real Christians. Because a, a, a Christian is what? A follower of Christ, right? We're, we're the descendants of the Have you ever heard of the Israelites in the Bible? Well, they were out there. They are our four parents. So we're the descendants of the people that we read about in the book. And what we found... No, no, well, that, even that is going off because they're, 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 they're not even teaching the, the full truth. They have some understanding, but the fact is, we've realized that the religions that we've been taught, 
which we're hoping, we're, uh, and many of our people are hoping to get us to the kingdom of heaven, actually leading us to hell. Because simple it's things. Like, no, but it's simple. No one can really take you or bring you. No, but it's simple things like what I just asked you. What is sin? Yeah, God is very clear about the Bible. Yeah, but you're not very clear. That's what I'm saying. Right. Sin is murder, hate, unfairness, injustice. Well, listen to this. This is what sin is. Murder, anything against the protection of There's more than ten. So you, you kind of hit it on the head. This is first. Sorry. This is first. Yeah, exactly. So what are the ten? <laughs> but that is a problem though. But that is a problem. Because if you know there's 10 and you don't even make the effort to learn the 10, you don't, thou should not have any God before any other God before me. Don't take the name of the Lord in vain. Yeah? What comes after that? When you got, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yeah, honor your father and mother. Okay, that's four. Go on. Okay. Don't take the name of the Lord in vain. Don't have no other gods. Yeah. Keep the Sabbath. Honor your father and mother. Don't murder. Don't steal. Don't kill. Don't don't kill. Well, no. Don't don't kill. Don't bear false witness. Are you listening? Don't bear false witness. Don't covet and don't commit adultery. Okay. Those are the ten. Yeah. So don't you think you should at least make the effort to learn the ten? Yeah. So this is sin. First John three and four. Whoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. So when you in sin, you're breaking God's commandments. And this is why I say the church is no good because the church don't teach God's commandments. And this is why our people. No, I'm sure you're right there. I think it's alright. Yeah, but it was never. You have to think of how it was established in the first place. No, I'm talking about the religions that we have today was established during a time where one people was oppressing another people. Yeah. Well, you, you can say that. No, so now what we what, what we come to do is tell our people that you've been lied to by the church. You are the physical descendants of the people in the book. You're under a binding covenant to keep that covenant, which means keep his commandments, keep the commandments, all of them to the best of your belief, and to bring to, to, to let these other nations know that what you've been doing to so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indians. It's actually, um, let me, you believe in the Bible? Get me Zephaniah uh, 3 and 8, I believe it is. Or, or 2 and 8. Zephaniah. No, no, no. Zephaniah. Oh, no. Yeah, 2 and 8. Listen to this. Because there's, you know, there's God has a chosen people, right? I'm not going to cut you, I want to read this quickly to you. Because yeah, so God has a chosen people. Yeah. Zechariah 2 and 8. What you're going to realize is that the nations have been they've been ill treating God's chosen people. So this is what he said. Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory he hath sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. Yeah, these other nations, what they did to. Our, to us today and to our descendants because you don't hear like why do you think so-called black people always say black lives matter and that don't do you think that exactly it's not that we don't realize that lives matter yeah eh? yeah so now what what we're here to let so what we're here to let these nations know that these same people that you're ill-treating they're actually God's chosen and there's a judgment for that so read that again now for thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. The nations, plural. Yeah. For, he have, for he that toucheth you, toucheth the apple of his eye. Yeah. So, so what do you think the most, have you got children? No. Okay, uh, Levi, nieces, Levi. So, you love them, right? Yeah. So if someone did something bad to them, what would you do? 
Exactly. So what do you think the most I is going to do to those that's actually abused his children, his chosen? That's right. So this is why we come out here to let all these other nations know that the judgment coming to you. The Bible, could you get me your one? Revelation. No, that's, that's cool. That's cool. So what's the problem? There's not a problem. I think but you're trying to redress the balance. I'm not going to redress the balance. It's not just white people. Like, have you ever heard of the sub-Saharan slave trade? Yeah. yeah. What was that one? Well, that was the worst slave trade. No, transatlantic slave trade was. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Yes. So, and and who are they doing it to? Yes. And there's been various other slavery. And the white people at the bottom of the pile. That's definitely true. And it happens here in workplaces. That's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'll say it. I'm not saying that we disagree. But, but, the, but the thing is, I'm, I'm trying to surprise that you realize that people don't. Well, well, Ethiopians and us are two different races of people. Ethiopians are Hamites, we are Shemites. But my brother, it's just, yeah, that's true. But I mean, there's still a black church, isn't there? A lot of the people find it like politics. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. So you know that. It's not so, so, so you know that. So, like so you know that those people in the land ain't the real Jews then? You do understand that? What, in Ethiopia? No, in Israel today. But if you don't, but, but think, about, think, no, but think about what you just said. Think, think about what you just said. Solomon, we know that Solomon was black. So then, no, but she's Hamite. So Solomon come from the nation of Israel, right? So what if he's black? What color do you think his people would be? I'm black too. Exactly. So if those in the land are claiming to be. These people, what kind oh, of are they? You see what I'm saying? The people that live in Israel are white. Yeah, so there's and a in problem the Bible, there. The Jews were a lot more exactly, so there's a problem so there. Yeah, 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 so that means that yeah. there's not. Well, there's there's someone's lying. So there's not, yeah, Hostile. so there's not only identity <laughs> theft, <laughs> but there's yeah. just not identity yeah. theft. <laughs> there's also a land theft. Yeah, because the British got them there. If you there. the churches across the Africa, all the apostles of Jesus. They all white with blue eyes. Yeah, but when you look at yeah, exactly because during the Renaissance period when quote unquote white people started to get back into power, there's been a lot of whitewashing. But my brother went to yeah, but then do you, do you let people know that? No, but they're destroyed because the doctrine that they're teaching ain't bringing their, their ain't leading their people to, Israel, to, to, to the kingdom what's, of heaven. What's the image that they're worshiping in those churches? What does it look like? Mm. Of Christ. No, it's not really, is it? I don't think they have any. No. But if they do, but if they do, though. But you know, if you go to the court of there's an image of the court and he's black. I'm not going to make that well known in England. Yeah. Yeah. I went with my friends and we're like, oh, well, I mean, it's good, yeah. but I was trying to cry. Yeah. 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 And tribulation and poverty. Yeah, so this is what Christ was saying to the real Jews. He says, we know your works, your tribulation, and your poverty. And when you look, do you know what that term ghetto means? Yeah. Because when you look, what, what race of people is going into ghettos? Well, who's, always, who's, no, who's normally at the bottom? Yeah. But that word ghetto means where the Jews dwell. Well, 
So you know, name changes all the time. Yeah. Was it Nazareth? of them was no, saying but they are rich yeah but it says even though they're in poverty the real jews they are rich and why one they're spiritually rich secondly the kingdom of heaven is going to be for them as long as they repent wow. you know that's richness in well, itself the real jews right well we'll see Yes. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And he knows the blasphemy, the filthy wicked lie of them that say they are Jews. Who say they are Jews? And are not. But they are not. By the synagogue of Satan. Yeah, that's who the Bible refers to. What did you get that one? Revelation 2 and 9. No, and that's Christ speaking. <laughs> yeah, so. This is Revelation 13 and 10. Yeah. It says, yeah. He that leadeth into yeah. captivity. So it's not line for me. So there's. there's this is what the scripture is saying, man. It says, um, uh, Revelation 13 and 9 says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. Meaning, if you've got understanding, understand this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What does that mean? That's right. So, this is what the Bible prophesies. Like, he that, he, that he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Mm. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the saints are patiently waiting for Christ to come back, and the saints, do you know who the saints are? But what does the Bible say? Then? Not what church teaches, what does the Bible say? Well, uh, Isaiah 48, 148. So what we just read to you, right, in Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Like, if you believe that, that's, that's, a, that's an angry night, right? That's what goes around. But no, but do you believe it? Yeah? Um, I think there's a judgment day, and people think they've got away with bad behaviour, and they're going to be judged. So you be, so you believe that then, yeah? yeah? So what do you think should happen? That the big brother was explaining to you, the other nations, which I refer to as the heathens, that have led the children of Israel astray, 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 that have led the children of Israel into captivity over and over again, right? And to this day, brother, bring it out before you come up, we are yet this day in our captivity, meaning the children of Israel are still in captivity today, right? And lost sheep, right? So what do you think should happen to those people or the ancestors of those people that led the children of Israel into slavery to this day? What do you think should happen to them? I know, specifically, what do you think should those happen to? We, you're right. We're all going to be it's judged, God, but there's different judgments for different nations of people. It's so, God is the judge. It's a, it's, it's a bit hard now because they're lost in the dark. So, so you don't know. Well, what we will do? We're going to read you what the Bible says, yeah? Because there's no. It's in the same Bible as me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, King James. You know, but if you go to, it doesn't matter. Like, if you, you can use this good news, it's not going to say anything different to what we're going to read. You. So it says, here is the patience of the saints. So let's see who the saints are. And then verse yeah. 14. This is Isaiah, uh, this is Psalms 148 and verse 14. It says, he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, mm. even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. So who are the saints according to that? John to, one, uh, John to 149. We're going to make it clearer as we start watching. This is Psalms 149 and verse 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Mm -hmm. And his praise in the congregation of the saints. Mm -hmm. Let Israel rejoice in him that made uh, that made him. So who's the saints? Uh, Let don't, Israel don't rejoice. Don't, don't, I'm, I'm, you see what I'm doing? Go to Psalms 50 and verse 5. Psalms 50, Psalms 150. We have to factor in what the Bible actually says. Psalms 50 and 5. I'm not saying, did I mention just white people? 
sub Saharan slave trade is who? Well, it's Arabs. Arabs. Yeah. Then you got um when, but, when, 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 when you look at when you look at the media Persia, yeah. what those? When you look at right? media Persia, yeah, you got the you got the um Babylonians yeah. and the Egyptians, those are Hamites. So it's not just white people. Quick question, where does your father like where does your grandfather come from? Where does your forefathers come from? On your dad's side. On your dad's side. On your, on your father's side. That's what I was okay. Shalom to the elder. Yes. Shalom to the elder. 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 Shalom to the Listen to this. This should make it very clear who the saints are according to the Bible. This is Psalms 50 and 5. It says, Gather my saints together unto me that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So the saints are those that made a covenant with God by sacrifice. Now, who made a covenant with God by sacrifice? No, 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 but it says, it says, yeah, but it says, those that made a covenant with him by sacrifice, the ones that made a covenant with the whole side, they were still sacrificing after they died. They didn't, but this was the whole purpose of um, Peter. Peter was going to the circumcision, saying them, look, faith now is in Christ, and his atonement, not in Adam. So those that made a covenant, when you read Exodus, I think it's Exodus 24, it shows you 24 and uh, 5. Exodus chapter 24. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, this is Exodus 24 and verse 4. It, it says, says, those that made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Oh. It says, and Moses wrote all these words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning and built an altar under the hill and 12 pillars according to the 12 tribes of Israel and he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord he says and Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar and he took the book of the covenant and read in the ordinance of the and read in the ordinance of the people and they said all that the Lord have said we will do and be obedient and Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said behold the blood of the covenant which the Lord have made with you concerning all these words so that covenant by sacrifice was made with you what people though that's right. So when he says, gather my saints together, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, the saints are the Israelites. So the Israelites, as the brother read, is waiting patiently for those that led them into captivity to go into captivity. And that's according to prophecy. You know what I'm saying? So if you are an Israelite, you need to start fearing the Mosai and keeping his commandments. And there's more than 10. And a precept. Yeah, she said, she said um, those people are dead now, right? Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 and 21. This is Isaiah 14 and 21. This is what the Bible says. Isaiah 14 and 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children. Says, prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the sins of their fathers. But but you know, but you, but you, no, 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 listen. But, but you know why that is? Why? Yeah. Let me, no, is he, no, why the children is going to get slaughtered? Get me is equal 18. But, 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 no, 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 uh, Matthew 5. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, all Christ, listen, no, but, no, no, what he, what he came to do is do away with animal atonement. Because there's certain sins, when you break them, you have to be put to death. Christ dying and us having faith that is the atonement for our sins, 
we can now repent of all sins. You know what I'm saying? God. You acknowledge that yourself earlier. <laughs> Are you busy on this? No, you're not on it. Yeah. You but you're not, you're you're not on it though. You want to be on it? Okay. You actually acknowledged that fact earlier when you said that, um, that Christ done away with the sacrificial yeah. Yeah, yeah. law because he was the atonement. Because that he was a, he was that really do it No, but you still have to keep the commandments because break them is sin. So what did I just ask for? Ezekiel 18, 18, and read us in verse. Okay. Ezekiel 8, because the brother read, prepare slaughter. Yeah, we're Israelites. Yeah. Is equal 18? Right, that's, 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 that's not Pumbaa. Oh, that's Desmond Decker. Desmond Decker is the light. Yeah. Now, is equal 18 and read from verse 9. Hold on. This is Ezekiel. now at? Yeah, yeah, go on. From, 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 it's the from. book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 9. It says, He no, who. 10, so that's it. So it says, prepare slaughter for the sins, for the children, for the iniquity of their fathers. This is why the children are going to be put to death. Because they are the wicked forefather, and this is the bit that they're fulfilling. So read uh, verse This 10. is Ezekiel 18 and 10. So this wicked forefather begets a son. It says, if he beget a son that is a robber, mm -hmm. a shedder of blood, mm -hmm. and that doeth uh, the like to any of these things, mm -hmm. and that doeth not any of those duties, mm -hmm. But even have eaten upon the mountains and defiled his neighbor's wife, mm -hmm. have oppressed the poor and needy, mm -hmm. have spoiled by violence, mm -hmm. have not restored the pledge, mm -hmm. and have lifted up his eyes to idols, mm -hmm. have committed abomination, right. have given forth upon usury and have taken increase. Shall he then live? So you got the, you got the children and a wicked forefather or a wicked father, and they're continuing in the sins. This is why today. We're still complaining as a those that lives matter. My that kind of 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 that kind to the best of your ability. So, no, but you don't know them. You think there's 10, and in the 10, you fall short. So, I'm, so well, I'm going to give you one that you may not know, which is outside of the 10. So, you know, um, uh, do you tell me 22, 25? Oh, is that okay? yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to give you one that you may not know. I've been thinking about this one the whole time. I'm like a 10, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on the woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy power. So what does that mean to you? A woman should not wear what pertains to a man. Yes, she said it. Okay, okay. Now, honestly, we're in captivity. Maybe for your job you might need to wear trousers, but in your spare time, in your own time, out so have you seen them walking down the high street in the sky and down the first No, not necessarily, but it's a good thing. It's a start. Oh, yeah. yeah? Remember, silly is what? But you know, there's a lot of these days about being transgender. The most I don't deal with transgender. <laughs> um, no, 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 don't go down. I'll go and get my hands up. Exodus 23. Exodus 23 and 1. He that is wounded in the stones. I can swear to Alright. Alright. I'm not going to do it. Alright. Could be Jake. Could be Jake. Because she didn't really buck up. Remember, I was going in today, that's the spirit. We were talking about Christianity destroying our people. And that's the doctrine that she's learned. She didn't buck up. And she actually agreed with everything we were saying. So. We'll be an Israelite, we'll be an Israelite. We'll be an Israelite from Ireland. When you know the history mm -hmm. and the white yeah, washing of, of the yeah. UK, <laughs> yeah. it's going into that. Like, a lot of our yeah. foreparents actually ruled the word dignitaries yeah. up in Ireland and Scotland. That's right. That's right. And this is why brothers have to try and be a bit more spiritual. Just because yeah. you see someone that Ooh. looks like the other nation, That's you need to stop just see them and uh, like straight away. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm sorry to cut you, but the, the elder Yawakal made exactly that lesson today. Okay. He was saying to judge a righteous judgment. That's right. We was going back and forth over the chat, right? And we were saying that over here in the UK, 
you have to discern the spirits because yeah. there's Jake that look like so I don't even we, know. Got, we got yeah. carnal camps right that uh, you might see a so called dark skinned brother walking with what you would think to be an Edomite yeah. and you got carnal Jake's that'd be like oh get out get out yeah, you know okay. but then that, that goes uh, you might even have a come down and kiss your feet right but uh, some carnal camps might have them come and kiss the feet where we have to be more discerning the spirit because that could very well be a Jake who goes back to Ireland, goes back to Scotland and, and, and it works both ways and it, and it, and it, that's, that's spirit because it works both ways you could think just because you've got woolly hair right, you've got dark skin that that's Jake but guess what, you've got to try the spirit because there's also uh, Jake looking Edomites what's the what's called way of saying a speckled bird? Exactly, yeah, and that was going into that, and that's how to know the spirit is real, man. Because the Heavenly yeah. Father has manifest that topic today. Yeah. Hey, so, what are you about, Shemuel? Yeah, she acknowledged what our ancestors Everything. Everything. She agreed with it all, so yeah. she could very well be a Jake, man. That's yeah. why we have to be very careful how we step. You could end up condemning yourself. Yeah. Hey, that's why it says that the, the, uh, the, the mouth and the tongue is a deadly. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. uh, it's like a serpent. It's like yeah. a like an adult with poison, man. We gotta be careful what we say, man. And the thing is, if we get it wrong, the angels are gonna see that I'm angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So, you know, try and be a bit more discerned in the spirits, man. Let me, because we had a precept that we was reading. Uh, shall I just carry on and read that? Because there's a few precepts sure. that's on the board. This is from the Elder Sagalar. This is 2 uh, Corinthians 4 and 3. It says, but if the gospel be hid, mm. it is hid to them that are lost. That's right. Whom the most die of this oh, world are the right. power. Oh, so like, yeah. um, second um, Thessalonians 2 and 10 or 11. Which is the power of this world. This world which is who? Satan yeah. and his right hand man is Esau. Which is, what have they done? It says, for the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Yeah, because they choose not to believe. And then, what does the most sign do? Uh, Second. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10. It says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. And this is why they're blinded. Because they love unrighteousness. You know, unrighteousness, like we say all the time, my grand used to say, sin is sweet. Which is true. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is sweet. First, it's whatever you des your heart desires, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, for a season. For yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, yeah, it's not yeah, there, but that's, yeah. this is why no. it says with all deceivableness yeah, yeah, of unrighteousness, right. because they think, right, it's a good thing I'm doing. That's it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it feels good. good. What's yeah, the rap yeah, song? Yeah, 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 sleep with this man's girl. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, nobody. Well, like, what's that Ice Cube song? Today was a good day. He went and beat some chick without a rubber and all, all, this, all, this, all, this, all this madness, right? Yeah, today was a good day. That's right. So that's when, when he says sin is sweet, it means our people have pleasure. It's yeah, a pleasure, pleasure, right? You know, right? Second Thessalonians 2 and 10, and with all deceivableness and of unrighteousness. Is that what it is? It's deceiving, man. Go on, slap that. In them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, right. that they may be saved. So what does the most I do? It says, and for this cause, the Heavenly Father shall send them a strong delusion, that they should believe yeah, a lie. They give them a mental strain. When you look at that word delusion, one of the definitions is a mental strain. That they should believe a lie. Go on. That they all might be damned, who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So this is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Yeah, because they love unrighteousness. That's why it's hid. If you're seeking the truth, it says, seek and ye shall find, not, and it shall be opened unto you. Yeah. In whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, yeah. lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of of the most high should shine unto them. That's right, that's right. See? And that manifests that as well. The Heavenly Father's not playing games, man. That's right. You think this is the be all and end all. The Heavenly Father sees everything. He hears us. The Heavenly Father hears us, man. The Heavenly Father hears us. A car. A, a, a car full of uh, unmarked car full of police. It does hail us up. Yeah, because they know what they know what it is. Well, everyone's going to know. We're uh, here actually trying to make their jobs easier. 
We yeah. tell our people to yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, We try to make their jobs yeah, easier yeah. from your wickedness. Yeah. No, yeah, we're yeah, actually doing the real police. Yeah, yeah, we are the real police. We are yeah. the real. It says, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes it his enemies be at peace with the Lord. Because you end up going to their judgment, yeah. their yeah. courts. Yeah. And this is the real council and the real uh, courts, courts, man. And quite a few of them held us up as well. They weren't just yeah, yeah, the whole, yeah. Uh, the whole car, yeah. up our car. Yeah. <laughs> and guess who, they, guess who they're patrolling for? Jake. Jake. That's, 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 Jake. Hey, we we in the ghetto right That's now. Right. Right? They're patrolling for Jake. Right. right, no one else. Right, so it says for uh, uh, it says of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Yeah, because when you read the verse, it's a nine and, and ten. It speaks about making their hearts heavy and their, their eyes heavy and their heart fat. Less the light of the Most High should shine on them, and they be converted and healed. For some, there, there has to be a two thirds. Yeah. It says, For we preach not ourselves, right. but I must shout, Yahweh Shai, that are the one. That's right. Where, where, where? Okay. Oh, Which one? Glory. Oh, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. It says, For we preach not ourselves, but I must shout, Yahweh Shai, that are the one, and ourselves. And and it's like that. and ourselves and, and that's why the judgment's gonna be so hard because we're not coming out here saying that's um um Mashak, uh, Daniel Allah, Malachia, Abidaya. No, we're telling you that's the Lord. And what did they say? Oh no, as for the words that they are speaking of the Lord, we don't part of them. It says we preach not ourselves, but our Mashiach Yahweh Shai that are the one, and ourselves your servants for Yahweh Shai's sake. This is uh, from Sagala uh, uh, again, from the Elder, it's Jeremiah 5 and 26. It says, For among my people oh, well, are found wicked men. Right. They lay wait as he that set of snares, they set a trap, they catch men. And you see in the churches as well, that's another snare, that's another trap. Yeah. Yeah. As a cage full of birds, so are their house full of deceit. That's right. It says, Therefore they are become great. And what's in rich? Yeah, because when say um the prophets prophesy for, 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 for money and the preachers teach for higher, something like that. Yes. Uh, Michael 2 and 11. Uh, uh, it says, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Yeah, you had one man saying, yeah, I need a new jet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dollar, yeah, he yeah, needs yeah, a new yeah, jet, you know. Yeah, man. It says, judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, mm. yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Right. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. And that's our people, though. He's not even chatting about Esau. We always come out here, Esau, this, Esau, that. <laughs> but remember why we're in the condition we're in, because we actually are a people that should know what righteousness is and have known. So for you to know and then come to this state, that's wicked because they've never had the laws yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. given to them. You know what I'm saying? They get, they're signed universal laws. Yeah. What makes them more wicked? What makes the other nation wicked? They have the laws and they don't read it. Um, they're partially now they, they bring out the judgment. You can have a little bit of money and you can get out of it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I, but me and you now, we're getting, oh, we're going to make an example of you. Yeah, you get a whole You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. really and truly, if you look at Salaki. You have to Salaki. No, go on, go on. See, their whole, their whole so called justice system was created uh, uh, to bring injustice to Jacob. That's right, that's yeah, right. That's what um, it, says, yeah. uh, it says, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. Do they not judge? Um, it says, Sagan uh, al said, agreed, but we've got to remember that one hour to your hour shy. Uh, Salaki, it says, agreed, we got to remember that one hour. To Yahweh is 41.6 years. We haven't even been in the sight of the Most High one hour. That we should humble, that should humble us all daily. Can't, can't, yeah. That's a beautiful point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the book of is, uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, they have heard other one Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, yeah, yeah. and that cover with a covering, 
but not of my spirit. Yeah, because they love wickedness, man. The earth is getting into the hand of the wicked, so what they did? They're running down to Egypt for help, you know. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey, the spirit's working. They're running down to Egypt for help. You know, they're saying, oh, in, uh, it's, it's a main thing to serve the most high. That, even that in itself is a wicked piece of saying. Knowing that the most high has always blessed us for, for obedience. Now you're saying it's vain to serve the most high? Yeah. But not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. That's right. That, that they may do what? Add sin to sin. Yeah, because what they want, they said, don't speak unto us right things, prophesy unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit, so that they can add sin unto sin. So what? Yeah, no. Nah, you know, yeah, Christ came and did, I hate that, that term. Christ came and uh, died, for, uh, died, for died for our, our sins. sins. I hate that term. He came and died as an atonement for our sins. When uh, you say it like that, you know that the laws are still there. Yeah, yeah. But when you say he died for our sins, though, yeah. Yeah, like, well, that's, that's, the, that's the misconception that our people have. Yeah. Yeah. Now they think, okay, now I can do whatever the hell I want. But yeah. they want to hear that though. It's smooth words, because when we come out and say, no, you still have to have faith, but you still have to... You still have to keep the commandments. Like, no, well, you know, Paul says, um, no, the Bible says if you break, break one, you break them all. Yes, it does. <laughs> so what then? I used to be a thief. Should I continue being a thief then? Yeah, yeah. I used to be a, an adult. Should I continue being an adult then? That's what you're basically saying. So shall we continue yeah. in sin that, that grace may abound? God La forbid. La he says, um, uh, Isaiah 32 says, that walk to go down to Egypt mm -hmm. and have not asked that my mouth That's right. to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. That's right. Right, this is Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help yeah. and stay on horses and trust in chariots. So the scripture lets you know that there's going to be a remnant that's going to stay upon the whole side. Yeah, we're going to come from under the shadows of Egypt, man. Because there are many, and that's why people think, hey, we, you know, especially in America, hey, we got the, uh, we got the biggest army, and we got this, and we're well protected. Hey, man, hey, the, the, the earth is in the hands of the other one. But you know what? Uh, scripture wants to let you know that the most has never used the majority to be his king. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's always used a few. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that's to give him glory, and, and yeah, to, put, to put faith in us, True. and to give him glory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It says. Go to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. Right. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, right. neither seek the other one. Mm. You know, and you are going to find out uh, uh, after death by pain, it says, right? Just sort him, man. Yeah. Yeah. And let me finish that off. This is Malachi 3. I'll start 14 again. You have said it is vain. To serve the most high, and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinances and that we have walked mournfully before Yahweh of hosts? And now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt the most high are even delivered. Yeah? And that's only delivered for a season, man, because, you know, what did um, uh, Eliezer say? Let me put that up. Um, the second one further proves that is that Heavenly Father used Moses to the children of uh, Israel and they described them in their wilderness. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is Second Maccabees. Second Maccabees 6. Now start at um, 26 says, For though for the present time I should be delivered. And that's what happens when, 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 when you have that mindset, you know, leaning on uh, Egypt. You might be delivered for the present time. It says, for though for the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, yet should I not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive nor dead. Yeah, you can't escape. You can't, man. That's why it says uh, in Hebrews, it's a fearful thing when you fall into the hands of the living power. So what do we need to do knowing that there's no escape? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 80, and verse 3. It says, Turn us again, O Heavenly Father, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. And that's what Paul is. No, no, go on, go on. I'll just say, that's what we're seeing now. With the, uh, the remnant waking up, the most I started to turn, and as it says in um, 
P20 chapter 30, the plagues then are starting to um, switch over. Like, what is it you're saying about that guy? Remember on the street that he did you? Okay, yeah, um, like, the, um, they're getting afflicted now. Yeah. And then they're, he's British, and he's seeing that, look, England's only a small country, and we have to import, import everything. And he's saying that we want to join, he wants to join bricks. <laughs> and he's saying in 10 years time when Africa gets bigger powerful, they're not going to want to deal with us, look how we treat them. What was that? Oh, yes. actually, um, sorry. Psalms chapter 80 and verse 3, it says, Tell us again, O most thy power, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. And that, like I said, that's happening now to where the remnant are turning back to the Heavenly Father. And that starts through the fear of our other one, right? Because mm. what? We understand that the fear of the Lord is our wisdom. And that's what makes it for man's face to shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the wise that's that right. are going to be fearing the Heavenly Father and returning back to Him right, in these times, man. Right? Exactly. The, the rest of our people are going to be considered fools, yeah. continue to trust in oppression, go down to Egypt, that and, and take, and take that earth. Uh, we we'll only take that mark, man, in, in our temptation. Yes, because chapter 2, verse 2, set thy heart aright. Yeah, get your mind right, man. And constantly endure. That's right. Man. And make not haste in time of trouble. Yeah, don't turn back to Egypt right. in times of trouble, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm our people tend to do. That's what they did. That's what they did when yeah. Moses did us out of the wilderness, man. The murmuring, like I said earlier. They wanted to go back, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the bread was sweet. Yeah. He, yeah. Said, why, he said, why have you led us out into death? Yeah. But no, we, uh, you know, the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father, Moses is actually trying to feed them, man. Right. Wow. Look at Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. That's right. Man. Cleave unto him right. and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last yeah. end. <laughs> and that's what we're looking for, man, to be increased at our last end. Yeah. You know, to, to hear those words, well done, my good and faithful servant, yeah. Yeah. thy ah. sins are forgiven. Uh, ah. Before we look for anything in the kingdom, the first thing we should be looking for is your sins be forgiven, man. Right? How do we do that? Right, what we do is exactly what the scripture just said, setting thine heart right, getting your mind right. Draw. Enjoying these things, it says uh, in, in James 1 and 12, it says, blessed is the man that enjoys temptation. Right. You know, ah. from when he does these things, roughly paraphrasing, say he does receive a crown right uh -huh. and that's what we want we want to receive that crown that white stone we want to uh we want to be pleasing in the eyes of the heavenly father we just want out of this place we, we, we need to be in a spirit now where we just can we just got to do whatever is possible in all our strength to serve the heavenly father man because then he's going to make sure that our paths are straight right let me grab this psalms 84 and 11 it says for the other one the most high power is a sun and a shield the, the other one will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold hmm. from them that walk uprightly. Yeah, what are you saying? Jeremiah 29 uh -huh. 11. I know the thoughts that I have for you, thoughts yeah. of peace yeah. and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Yeah. And as we always say, that word expected, when you look into it, it says hope. See that? Uh -huh. And it looks to give us hope, man. Yeah. Yeah. Which our people ain't got no hope. Yeah. Yeah. We are prisoners of hope in these yeah. chains of darkness, man. Yeah. And the Heavenly Father, let me read it again. It says, that, uh, it says, for the other one, our power is a sun and shield. The other one will give grace and glory. It says, no oh, good thing. It says, the, uh, the other one, that, that, the, the other one, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will give grace and glory. No good thing will, we be, well, will he withhold. Yeah, because Michael 4 and 8 says, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. Right? Yeah. And what comes with the kingdom? Um, uh, Revelation 2.26. You know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that power of the nations. Yeah, right? power over the nations, man. Yeah. Uh, Psalms 2 and uh, 8. Uh, eight. Yeah, he even has a name. Ask of me, and how do we ask of him? By being obedient, right? right? He said he, he's going to hear you. Right. When we pray and you're, you're upright, uh, he hears your prayers, man. Right. And we just have to be patient because he will fulfill it. He says he will withhold no good thing from you. So he's going to give you everything in abundance, whatever your heart desires in and in righteousness. Big ones that are upon us on this side of the fence, where we should be looking for that abundance on the other side, because this side is going to be destroyed. Uh, that don't mean that the most I won't give you little bits here and there. Yeah. 
but we got most Jake seeking glory That's and right. seeking uh, all these things it, it, on this side, which is actually vanity. It's pointless because, like I said, this place is going down, man. Yeah. Why, uh, like you always say, why want a, a, a penthouse in, in a the tower that's collapsing? Yeah, yeah. 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 Or, 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 yeah. Or, or you want the top floor of the Titanic, that A class yeah. stuff, yeah. And, yeah. The, and the ship's sinking. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the ship's you, about to hit an iceberg. But what did you say? At least I'll go. I'll go uh, what you say? At least I'll be going out in style yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Because they trust yeah. in yeah. Egypt and, and the riches of this place, but that's not going to profit you nothing. You can't buy yourself. You can't buy your way out of this place. You know. So it's it. It. Yep, yeah, yeah, right. and, 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 and the more you buy your way in and dig that deep, right. uh, dig that ditch, the deeper that ditch that you're in, it's going to be harder to get out. That's, right. that's why it says we shouldn't want the things of this place. That's why it says arise you in the park. That's why it says trust in the other one, and all these things shall be added unto you. Patience, long suffering, mercy towards brothers and sisters. You know, love towards brothers and sisters, which is actually showing them the commandments and dwelling in the commandments. That's the way we need to be moving on this side so that we can receive in the latter end that peace, right? So it says, withhold, uh, it says, no good thing will I withhold from them that walk uprightly. So that's what we need to be in the spirit of walking uprightly in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, not in your own uh, mind and imagination thinking to you, uh, thinking that you're in a good case. Hey, if it's not according to scripture, then it's off, all right? Always revert back to the scriptures uh, and, and see if you're walking uprightly. See if the Heavenly Father is ordained for you to walk like that, okay? Psalms 25. Psalms 25 and 4. It says, Show me thy ways, O Yahweh. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day long. And that's what we have to do, Israel, man. Just wait on the Lord. You know? Wait on the Lord. And it will come in due season, man. Like, it couldn't have come for me yesterday, but you know what? That number has to be still, prophecies have to be fulfilled. Just because you said that, let me grab this one last one. It says, this is, uh, this is Galatians chapter 6 and verse, verse 9, straight to the point. It says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So Israel, hey, hey, stay strong, stay strong. Stay strong. Stay in the scriptures, meditating in the scriptures, and the Heavenly Father is going to direct our paths, man, and, and ultimately we're going to receive a glorious kingdom. Okay? So, and that's, it says, we're going to reap, though, if we faint not. Don't let Satan, I rebuke Satan when, uh, when, when Satan tries to plant seeds in your head. Taste, tell Satan to go along. Tell Satan yeah, to move, on, man. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, because if you knew better, you'll do better, right? And we know better, so... Now we put forth all our strength to the Heavenly Father because if you're not putting forth all your strength to the Heavenly Father, you're then giving your strength to someone else which is not the right spirit. It's an off-key spirit or, 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 or off-key off -key thing that you're giving your energy to. And if you want to, if you're trying to not give your uh, 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 energy to the Heavenly Father, hey, Satan won't take that energy from you. He's happy to take that energy from you till thou be destroyed. Okay, so hey, hope well, that was edifying. Right. You know, shout out to all you brothers and sisters, to water for the precepts, um, um, you know, adding to the edification. Right. And we're going to close out. We're going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh.